Analysis of next generation sequencing data generates a large amount of QC metrics. In this video we're going to see how the interpret software creates easy to navigate displays of QC metrics to help the user assess the performance of their sequencing runs. The QC data from your run can be accessed on the batch page. Firstly, in the batch summary table you will see a set of values for each sample and these will be color coded to indicate high, medium and low quality data according to the metric set assigned in the analysis protocol. To see which metric set is being used just click on the analysis protocol link and it will be displayed at the top of the window. The software provides the user with the option to view the individual conditions within a metric set or they could create their own metric set and assign it to a protocol. We can do this through the admin control area and by opening up the analysis section and from here we can select metric sets. A list of all the currently available metric sets is displayed. Clicking on a row in this list will bring up the details and the threshold values that have been assigned. If a user wants to modify these values, they can create a new metric set by clicking on the green Add New Metric Set button at the bottom of the page, and then changing the values in the relevant field. All the values have to be set before the new metric set can be saved. The new metric set is saved by clicking the blue button at the bottom of the highlighted window, and once saved, this metric set is available to be added to a new analysis protocol. If we return to the batch page, we can see two more options for viewing the quality metrics from the sequencing run. First, let's take a look at a multi-QC report. This tool scans the sequencing results files generated from the analysis pipeline. The relevant information is then brought together to generate a single standalone HTML report file for all the samples in the batch. At the top, there is a header which gives the batch information. There is a navigation bar on the left which you can use to go directly to different sections that have been generated by different bioinformatic tools used in the analysis pipeline. On the right hand side there is a toolbox for accessing additional functions. You have an option to display the data using either the SureSeq interpret ID number which is a sequential number assigned to each sample analyzed in the software, or you can display the samples based on their actual sample ID. The first table in the report provides a summary of all the metrics that have been collected from the analysis tools. The data from this table can be pasted into your clipboard by clicking on the copy table button, and you can change the order or display of the columns by clicking on the configure columns button and then changing things around by dragging and dropping or by unchecking the tick boxes. You can also sort this table using the column headers in ascending or descending order. So for example you might want to see if a sample in your run has a high number of duplicated reads so you could sort this to the top. One of the features in the toolbox on the right allows you to highlight a sample by entering the sample name and adding it to the list and then clicking apply. The sample is then shown highlighted in the table as the others are greyed out. This highlighting is applied to the other outputs in the multi-QC report as we can see if we scroll down. Below the table the report has been formatted to display several important metrics which should be reviewed first to ensure the overall sample and batch quality is acceptable. These displays are the targets not covered, the coverage efficiency and the insert sizes and descriptions of these metrics are given in the report. As you scroll down further through the report you can see the output from the other modules used in the analysis pipeline. 
SAM Tools is a suite of programs for interacting with high throughput sequencing data. And FastP is a tool designed to provide fast all-in-one processing for FastQ files. If we now return to the batch page, the second option for viewing QC data is by clicking on the View QC Report button in the row of a particular sample. This option opens up the individual FASTP report and allows the user to drill down and view sequencing QC metrics for an individual sample. For further information on the use of multi-QC reports and FASTP output, you can use the links provided in this video or you can contact support at OGT.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out OGT's website for further videos in the Interpret series, as well as lots of useful information on our SiteAssure NGS and SureSeq NGS products.